She asked that she have missed a lot of mandatory fasting in her life in the past. She doesn't remember how many days, but there are many. What are you supposed to do? If a person was praying but did not fast, so the person is Muslim. And in this case, you remember one Ramadan, two Ramadans, two or three Ramadans, or total 60 days, 70 days, then you must make them up. The Almighty Allah says in the course of the ayat talking about fasting, مَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ so whether the person is sick or traveling, you're allowed to skip fasting during this time, but you got to make it up later. What about if the person actually was neither sick nor traveling and deliberately skipped fasting? So there is a kafara. If the person have violated the fasting due to uh, having sexual relations, oh, that requires fasting for two consecutive months in addition to making up the day. So making up the missed fasting is obligatory as well. Somebody would say, but even if I make it up, it's never the same. I agree. I couldn't but agree. But you still have to make it up in addition to seeking forgiveness. So you estimate how many days. Keep in mind that, that the, the fasting which you missed before reaching the age of puberty, you don't have to make it up. Because it becomes only obligatory upon a Muslim to observe fasting and to offer the prayer on a regular basis whenever he or she reaches the age of puberty. So let's say that at the age of 13, 15, and how many Ramadans you did not fast until uh, you started, alhamdulillah, practicing three, four, um, that's 120 days. Okay, maybe inshallah every Monday and Thursday, you fast with the intention of making up those days. May Allah accept.